It's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome to Awesome iPhone. Well, I have actually gotten some news, as you can see. You think there's only seven phones here, or six, but well, there is a heck of a lot more than that. Thanks to Meowtech YT and Tabby Pears for the phones. Let's get started. This is a BlackBerry Bold on Verizon. This was a world phone. I have absolutely no idea when the date of this one, of this phone was made. Possibly around 2010 or 2011. It works absolutely perfect. Sorry got, but that got a low battery notification. It works absolutely perfect. The only downside of it is if I turn it, you can actually see the trackpad, or whatever you call this, is actually slanted. I don't even know if you can tell, but yeah, there you go. There you go, folks. The trackpad is actually slanted and bent down. I don't even know how you, you managed that on a Blackberry, but someone did. Which is not even a problem because it still freaking works. I don't actually in the middle of getting my extension cord because I gotta plug in my phone because it is on 10%. Because my dumb dumb Nick dumb self almost forgot, actually forgot to charge my iPhone that I'm using right now. Alrighty, let's plug in my charger and keep this video going, shall we? There we go. This phone works absolutely per. Ooh, there we go. This phone works absolutely perfect with no problems. Even the camera works. Let me power it down. Shut it down. There we go. It's your Verizon logo. This is a Sanyo. This is my first working Sanyo phone. Sanyo. VI 2300. I think this is from 2004 or 2005. The only problem with this is, is this rub rubber grommet right here tends to stick and it thinks the phone is closed when it's not. But now, since I got that fixed, this phone works perfectly fine. Let me zoom into the screen a little bit so y'all can see it. Yeah, it's a pretty real real low res screen. There we go. And yeah, this phone has no camera. <laughs> this was this was a very early, not very early, but this was like a really, I wouldn't say really late, but very, very middle of 04, maybe very early 05. Um, this phone holds a really good charge, and surprisingly, it takes a small, um, a small little barrel plug, and it's actually an LG barrel plug. And I actually had that charger, thank goodness. Okay, next is the LG Cosmos 3, I think this is. this is. I'm not really good on Verizon phones, because, well, here where I live, Verizon is really uncommon. Um, yes, that is actually what this phone took. If you're wondering why it says Jacob's PC right there, that, that doesn't mean Jacob's personal computer. <laughs> it means Jacob's phone collection. I actually, um, I actually, um, I didn't make that. Um, Tony, if you know Tony's phone collection, he actually did that. So I learned that from him actually, but I'm not going through the contacts or messages because I actually do not want to you know, like, show anyone's phone numbers if they're even still in use, but, yeah, this phone works perfectly. Uh, here we go. This is the Samsung Convoy, Convoy, I think this is the, 
I don't even know what, oh, it's on, shoot, hold on, um, well, okay then, yeah, um, this is the Samsung, I don't really know what the name of this phone was, I should have googled all these names of these phones before I started this video, which, well, well, that was a dumb part of me, wasn't it? <laughs> But yeah, this works. Full bar, surprisingly, on roaming. Back and rear camera works. This is the Samsung Rugby. I think I used to have this phone, but it did not work. It had a it had a leaking battery, so I had to throw it away. If you hear my cat, just ignore it. <laughs> um, here's the oop. Here's the menu. This I think is the uh frick, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> I really did should have Googled the names of these phones before I started making a video. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, this LG works perfectly fine. As you can tell, um, these Verizon phones had the the older LGs. Yep, that is a photo of what this phone took. Actually, I actually took that myself. Yeah, as you can tell, um, Verizon really tried to make it look like a newer LG with the um, you know, like the um, Android gingerbread kind of style um settings cog or gear, I should say. LG CU-295, I know this phone because I've seen it on a commercial before. This phone is a 3G phone from AT&T. This was back in 2009 or 2010. And on the apps on this thing, it said, Your World Delivered. So, yeah, I know that was from 2010 or at least 2011. Yeah, it's got the same exact interface as the um, LG 420G on track phone and the um, T-Mobile equivalent of that exact phone. LG... Oh, what's this called again? LG VX8300, I thought so. This is the LG VX8300 by, well, VX, standing for Verizon. This has dual speakers, actually, and oh my goodness, for a, a dumb phone? These sound amazing. Take a listen. Yep, that Verizon interface. I think that's actually OLED. I could be wrong, but I think it is. On to the next phone, which is a Samsung Intensity 2 with a really, really, really bad display. In real life, it is extremely, 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 extremely dim. And all you know, if you can, yeah, this is its full brightness right now. And yeah, there's a dead pixel right where my finger is, right there. 
But yeah, if you go into a menu, yeah, it's I know it's supposed to be much brighter than this, but it's on full brightness. So I'm guessing there's either a ribbon cable that is about to be torn, or is either torn or the display is bad. Which well, that's not a, that's actually pretty easy to fix because these older phones actually take Phillips head screws. LG C something 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 something. Um, it also takes a um, just like all of these phones, except except the um, BlackBerry Bold, the LG Bar phone from Verizon, the Flip phone from Verizon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 phones take micro while the on the other phones take their proprietary charging ports. This actually has a 2.0 megapixel camera with autofocus, surprisingly. I'm trying to here we go. Uh this actually has <laughs> um well you're probably noticing this phone. Um I know I'm probably going a little bit out of sync here, but forgive me. Um this is a uh, this is the track phone. I think this is Samsung's free, free form three or free form four. I know they had this on various carriers such as Metro PCS. I think that's all. But now there's a track phone variant which I never even knew existed until now. Um, but are you noticing something? Yes, both of these batteries look almost identical. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, this phone, this LG phone, is a has a resistive touch screen and a 2.0 megapixel camera with autofocus. And if I zoom out, this phone, you could actually, oop, don't want to break it. You could actually watch TV on this little thing. Yes, indeed. This phone has a bad battery, so I'm not going to be powering it on because the battery literally only lasts two minutes before it dies. And I'm looking forward to getting a replacement. But yeah, this battery is also a little bit bloated, but it's not bad, but it's starting to get a little bit bloated because it's actually starting to bloat in right in the middle. I don't, maybe you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Um, right, if I move my camera... If I focus my camera in right there, there you go, right there where it says lithium, lithium ion right there. It's actually expanding right there in the middle where it says um, lithium and ion right in the, like, right below that. It's actually expanding a little bit. So yeah, this phone does work, but it does have its problems. This is a Samsung Freeform 3. I think this was from 2011 or 2012. This has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro USB, a camera button, volume up and down, and a spot for SD card, which I think is actually 32 gigabytes, which is amazing for a, this Blackberry looking knockoff. It's crazy.